<laughs> the violence yeah. at these youth sporting events is just getting out of hand. Just yesterday on the Young Turks, we talked about a coach of a youth football league who attacked a ref. Uh, and now we've got actual player on player violence. So this is Petiola Menu, who sneaks in a little knee during a youth soccer game. Let's watch the video. All right. See so her go down. And she's in wine, and she's about to knee the girl in blue. <gasps> oh! And then the slow walk away doesn't even look back. Like the action oh. movie when there's an explosion. Right. You don't even look. Yeah. Now, uh, they have, the refs didn't see that. She yeah. didn't even get a penalty. She didn't get a foul. Nothing, nothing right? But that's because they didn't see it. Probably you don't see a million things. Which goes to my larger point, right? Which is that we think that there's this huge uptick in violence in sports. No, there isn't. <laughs> no, there's a huge uptick in iPhones. <laughs> okay, there's people recording this stuff. You think you know how many times that happened in soccer games in the past? Uh -huh. Probably twice or three times as many. Okay. Yeah, but the thing is that now, this is unique sort of because it's a player, but, but the thing that's been bothering people for the last few years is that the coaches and the parents are going and getting drunk and just they're throwing themselves in as well. Do you maybe think that, that didn't happen in the 1970s? Yeah, I guess that's a good point. Look, I remember yeah. I played intramural soccer in, in New Jersey in mm -hmm. the 1980s, okay? Yeah. I mean, I didn't remember terrific violence or anything. I mean, I do remember a lot of cursing from the side. Like, yeah, yo, what you talking about, man? That's crazy. <laughs> like this, most And then, I mean, you don't talk about violence on the soccer field. Eventually, my coach had to pull me aside and say, listen, mm -hmm. the correct sport for you is football. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you're supposed to tackle people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I guess we should salute Petiola Menu for continuing a proud tradition no, of sporting no, violence no, 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 in no, America. No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. And obviously, you know, this is... She's, what she did was uh, totally wrong, and they had a pre like basically a press conference almost with the principal of the school yeah. and her. She's and apologized. She's obviously apologized, et cetera. And, and look, sometimes you can cross a line where uh, they've actually arrested people. I mean, there was video of a girl who kept got a gr yeah. another girl down, in, I believe, in another soccer game, and kept punching her in the face, right? And that's assault. Does this, in the middle of a game, rise to assault? She wound up for that knee. She can, can did. We, should we watch it again really fast? Right. Just so you can see her prep for the actual attack. All right. Okay. I feel like, though, this would have yeah. led to so many arrests. And we're watching it in slow yeah. motion. You're watching it in slow motion. I mean, and they're girls, so you get more of a visceral reaction. Yeah. Like, how could you do that to somebody, et cetera. But, and it's particularly hard. I get, I understand all that. It's a million percent wrong, et cetera. I don't think I'd arrest her. Would she, you arrest she's her? She's committed to the sport, though. She didn't use her hands or arms. She just used lower body. So, now, Kim, you don't take shit from anybody. Have you ever engaged in any sort of well, violence on the field? I don't play sports, but <laughs> I have done um, Jeet Kune Do. It's a mixed martial art. Mm -hmm. It's a hybrid martial art. I've taken a punch to the face that was less violent than that. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Not from me, but yeah, I, I've taken a lot of punches to the face. They were all more <laughs> violent than that. <laughs> okay, good point. Okay, and I'm but, glad that she apologized. So anyway, would you have arrested? No, right? No. That doesn't rise no. to arrest. No, discipline her a little bit. Yeah. She'd get a, a red card. Oh, that, but what? I said the word discipline. <laughs> Give her a red card or something. All right, let's bring in a sports expert here, Ricky Strong. Okay, now watching it a few times and having a side discussion with my correspondent, J.R. Jackson, <laughs> I honestly feel like... Should she be charged with assault? I mean, like, Jar maybe persuaded me in the other way. No, not assault. But there has to be, and you can't, like, fine her like it's the freaking NFL or anything like that. But you, you have to come down with a certain amount of punishment that shows that you, can't, that you can't do this shit again. Because, look, yeah, we, we yeah. all get in the heat of the moment. I understand that. And, like, I, I had one incident in travel basketball. I know you can't believe it, but a Jew played travel basketball. <laughs> where, where, like, for some stupid ass reason, I got, I got embarrassed. I tried to cross a guy up, and he, he like leaped over me, and I stuck my foot out, and I got pulled out of the Whoa. game completely. Like that, like that was bad. And I look back on it. We all get in the heat of the moment, but I did not try and kick the guy in the face while he was down after already taking a hit. I mean, I don't know what the correct punishment is. Assault might be a little too much for a high schooler. And similar to the other video we did where the girl punched her in the face repeatedly, like, that's assault. Right. But overall, I, I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think is the correct yeah. punishment? No, no, I think it's a relatively easy case, actually. Mm -hmm. I just ban her for the rest of the year. And that's pretty severe punishment, right? Yeah. It seems fair, though. Yeah, and, and so, and no, I don't think it rises to assault. And look, maybe I'm biased here because I got into so many fights on so many fields, football, rugby, whatever it might be. And so... Tennis. You know, and I really think the, the point of the story is I, this has become national news when this kind of stuff used to happen 
all the time, and it never even was local news, let alone national news. What's yeah. changed the whole game is not the violence, it's the cameras. Yeah.